Um, where's my UI? <laughs> where's my UI? Oh, there it is. I use the mini gunner more. Yeah, I use the mini gunner more, so I'll get uh, it's. So last night, TDS released a new update, uh, tutorial mode. I don't actually know where I'm meant to go yet for that, but there's also there's also a new easy mode. Which is, uh, very interesting. So, since it's easy, I'm not gonna bring too overpowered stuff. Just like this, and I also want a new minigun skin I got. Let's do that. And now, where do I find this tutorial at? Uh, replay tutorial. Oh! Okay, so I bet you play the tutorial as soon as you get in the, uh, as soon as you, as soon as you start the game. Which is pretty nice but whatever wait I start with my oh there it goes welcome recruit let's get started on teaching you the basics start by placing a scout right there what if I don't put it there what are you gonna do Wow nice work now brace yourself the horde is coming There's two guys. Wow, so scary. It's upgrade. There's a sniper tower. They have slow they fire slow but have incredible range. Yay. Select the sniper tower. Now brace yourself, more enemies are on the way. Bro, I wanna see their range! Let me see their range! It's so annoying that I can't click on them. Oh. This is so fun. Nah, but it's for people who just started playing this game and have no clue what they're doing. I swear, recruit, I'm gonna warn you with the Demo Man Tower. They're great for dealing with large swarms of enemies. Highlighted spot. Just in time, we got a big swarm of enemies coming in. Okay, here comes. Oh, it's the new slow guy. It's the new slow animations. Oh, and. What? Oh, this de the demo man path one sucks, bro. But uh, what is this? This annoys me. Of course they did because we no time to waste. If you want to survive, you'll need to upgrade your towers. Let's start with the scout. Upgrade him to level two. There you go. Now upgrade the sniper to level two. Because there's a swarm of hidden enemies inbound. Okay, great. Oh, now just two damage. Yeah, they nerfed the hiddens. Did they nerf the hiddens for this game mode? They do only have eight health now. Okay, well, this is... I guess this is an interesting tutorial, but that 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 annoys me a bit. Let's repair some damage. So, here's a medic tower to help with that. What? They actually... What is this? What do you want? Why in the back? Yeah, and this is terrible because they can't reach any of the towers unless, in case they're stunned and they won't be able to do anything. Big wave coming, so we're gonna need a little more firepower. A powerful tower. But you didn't even give me enough money to place him. Oh. Oh. Well, that's annoying. This is the final wave. Brace yourself. The grave digger music. Let me lower that. That's kind of loud. And the dummy boss. It's literally just a tank. Greener. Oh, does it shake? It shakes the ground a bit. So it's a tank, but green, and has, like, 
10 times less HP. Alrighty. Mini gunner, uh. Oh my goodness, yep, it's, it's, it's a, yep. If even a level one mini gunner can take you out. Very nice. Oh. Why'd you beat your chest a bunch just to die? Well, that was easy. Alrighty. Now, uh, time for something else. Well, this is a problem. I spent the money on the skin, and now I don't have enough cash for this. Uh, you're gonna have to give me a sec. Wait a minute. I thought they said new easy mode. Not... Not the switch. They changed... They finally... They changed normal mode? They changed it? Well, let's see what they got. Oh, uh, what? That's not... That's, uh, new. Wow. Uh. Yeah. That, that, that's not very, that's not very good. I mean, I could place a militant back here. And I probably will, because I'm not trying to, you know. And they also changed it, so now you get money per, sh per kill. And there's also- Jesus Christ, how many normals? They're still coming! Jesus Christ! How many normals? What the hell? Oh, of course! Now I'm able to afford the bigger rifle- Oh, uh, what? What? The normal boss has got a health bar? Also, yeah, they did buff the slows a bit. Look at that. They now have 14 da HP. They now have 14 HP. They now have 14 HP instead of 8. Which is pretty new. I wonder if the old fallen enemies still have the same. Okay. Now we can get a bigger rifle and not die. Well, this skin looks pretty cool. I would say my own myself. Oh. That was a new... Armored guys. Like dead military personnel. That's cool. Oh, and I wasn't really paying attention, but the slow boss is now here. And he's also got a health bar. So they added health bars for all the mini bosses. So that's cool. Also, look at his leg. It's so weird. Looks like it's broken. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Our bolts are new. Those are new. Uh, they're now yellow instead of, uh, blue. Oh, wait. What the hell? Okay, bud, hi. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, this isn't good. I think three mini gunners should be able to deal with it. Don't stun. Core. Ah, oh, yeah, that's my whole defense. This is also pretty easy. There was not even a speedy boss, I just realized. Which is, uh, very interesting. Uh, and... Oh, 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 nope, nope. As soon as he's about to die, as soon as he's about to die, he's got a some, he's got a, he's got a one last hurrah. And down he goes. Bye bye. That's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, 300 coins too. That's nice. Uh, how's this boy looking? Literally holds a spike trap like the tower blitz trapper So that's already a good start zombies coming up trapper oh, Landmine and bear traps Oh Damn that thing's got a lot of HP uh, Landmine and bear traps it can get and 
I bet that's like the jester where you can swap out. Well, look how much it can take a lot of zombies. Four zombies it could take. That is a lot. Okay, so we got some money. Faster throwing. And now better traps. Spike damage. 40 max traps. Six. It can have six traps? That's a lot of traps, actually. Why does this guy reckon... Why does this guy look like, like, Evil Emmett from the Lego Movie 2? Do y'all even know who I'm talking about? Okay, let's get better traps. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that. It's huge. That's a big trap. Look at that thing. Look at all the spikes. That's a lot of spikes. Wait, what? He's just walking over it. They're just walking over it. E. Landmine. Sadly, there's no hotkey to change what he uses. Alrighty. Let's see what the landmine does. So it blows up. Wait, do the... Do they do the hiddens walk through it? Nope. No, they don't. Okay, good. Okay, so it just it's just one hit, but like, okay, the landmine is pretty useful, but I bet I wonder what the pay, placement limit is. Oh, oh, you can place more than three. So yeah, I would recommend like at least one landmine, one spike guy. Yeah, let me put him back on spike though because. Because, uh, the landmine is, like, can only hit, like, a couple guys in a certain radius. But the landmine can, like, tank multiple dudes. Let's see what the bear traps do. Now, I think this might hold an enemy in place. I think. Just because, like, the bear trap is, like, it's meant to, like, grab something. It's meant to, like, grab something and, like, keep it there. So. Let's see what you do. Nothing. It's just a... It's like a single hit spike. It's like a single hit spike, okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, I guess I did show off the breakers. I mean, the the, the, the spike trap. But uh, I kind of died. But yeah. So, I would say this tower is just pretty good. Especially combining, like, the spikes and landmines. The bear traps, I just, it just seems like it's a mine. It, it's just, seem, no, I mean a spike. It seems like it's just a spike, but, like, just one hit. Or, like, yeah. I would rather... I guess you would want to use spikes in the early game and then switch to barricade traps in the late game. Because soon you'll just have all the enemies walking over the spikes getting like one hit and then it's just no value. Plus, and so just having these single insta damage, full damage hits would just be better overall. So I kind of see what the TDF stats are doing there. So I would give the, I would give this a pretty good, pretty good, definitely good starter tower. And Shockener, I saw that it got early lead detection, so maybe it could be good on hardcore mode. But other than that, we saw the new tutorial mode and the new easy mode layout. So I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you're new. And comment what, what part of the video you liked. Because it also helps the algorithm find this video. Alrighty, bye.